Hey Cappies, welcome back. <clears throat> Getting ready to do your end of August reading. So I know it has taken me quite a bit of time or a little bit to get your videos up, but I've been trying Cappies. Your readings have been a little bit heavier the last few signs, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a little bit of an extra message. I don't know if you guys are dealing with the cancer, but that's what I saw. I'm getting you're working very hard at something great news are coming to you guys very soon. Um, I'm going to be doing your spread a little bit differently today just because of what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of pentacles, okay? <laughs> Capricorn, you guys are an earth sign. So definitely very focused on school, on your family, on home, on your materials, on possessions, on a you know, acquiring more just money, right? In general, this is like what you're really focused at right now is maybe all your time and effort and energy. It's going into long-term planning and rewarding new beginnings. <clears throat> Luxury and abundance. Or at least, you know, just at least planning for longevity. Nothing really for the short haul right now because you know anything worth getting needs hard work, needs planning, needs um, time. Okay, so I'm getting, you guys are just all about money. No, not really. For a few of you guys are really confused too about two other things. There's a push and pull here. Maybe this is something to do with relationships. Maybe a lot of you guys I'm getting, you could be thinking about working from home soon. Maybe thinking about leaving a job, starting a new career your true passions. <clears throat> Let me see. Alright, angel spirit guys, universe, show me what I need to see for the sign of Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Okay. You guys could be dealing with the Libra right now. Maybe there's something you want to say. Something that you're not really feeling. For a few of you guys, this is dealing with court issues, court battles, legality. Just the judiciary system. I'm feeling like time lost or time spent or time served in something. Let's see what this is about. A lot of time is needed for something to happen. So sacrifices right now are what's going on in your life or maybe in the person you're dealing with. So what came out was the two of pentacles. This could be a juggling act. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, or a Leo. Okay, well, we have the Page of Cups overall energy. Let me get. Yeah, I'm seeing like confusion, needing to choose between something. Could be with an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn.
<clears throat> Cappies, I do have your card here. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, he or she does not matter. But I'm definitely picking up your energy as you're coming out very strong in here. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Leo, or a Cancer. Something maybe very heartbreaking happened. I don't know if this is, you know, extremely heartbreaking, but this is definitely like you're feeling like you're missing out. You know, you feel like you're stuck. You're stuck in a situation. You're caught up in a bind. You know, this is like you kind of feel like you have no control over this situation. This is just what needs to be done. This is feeling overburdened, overworked you know, uphill struggle. I feel like you've been doing this for some time now, maybe a couple of years. And, you know, it's just been happening this way. I don't know if you guys are feeling like, you know, it's time to make a decision, big, a life-altering life decision, some kind of experience. But I do see you guys coming out of some really dark and difficult times. Um, going into the end of September, this is what I'm seeing. A lot has actually not been in your favor. Um, you know, growing up or just uh, through life in general, I feel like you may have struggled a bit. You've been feeling quite defeated, but I feel like every lesson has come with its own blessing in some sort of way. In this way, I feel like all of your past being misdirected was also God's like protection for you. This is kind of why you guys are wondering whether or not you should go back to do something because something doesn't really feel so right. It's like your soul and your mind and your heart is telling you to do something else, but you're balancing. You're balancing out the pros and cons of the situation right now. You're looking straighter ahead. You're not even taking the offers that things are being presented to you right now because you know you deserve more. You deserve better. And because you know you can get better. And because you have here with you staring at the star, this is like telling me your wishes and your dreams are going to come into reality much sooner, much quicker than you even can imagine, than you realize. But this requires patience, due diligence, and hard work and effort that not a lot of people are willing to do. Yet you have made your own sacrifices, and you, you, you know, you've gone through these trials and tribulations, and you know exactly what is worth your time you know exactly what you are you, what you're going for you know you're going for the ten of cups with a star your dreams right now are not far out of reach but you definitely feel a bit hindered if not stuck with something this is for a few you guys maybe i don't know three of swords to me could be third party scenario so I feel like some of you guys are maybe feeling heartbroken, maybe something has happened. This is maybe you've had your heart broken before, you know, you're still kind of um, on this, like, you're still kind of relapsing a bit to the old memories. You're still with this feelings of pain and nostalgia and, you know, missing somebody or just feeling like the victim. There is a little bit of a victim mentality here, whether or not you caught somebody um, cheating or maybe you found yourself in a third-party scenario whether this was you when you were trying to get yourself out of a third-party situation maybe you're caught up between two people you know your heart just can't decide because you're you're pulling you're being pulled between two different directions there's one that's coming easy and someone that's one that's stable what do you have see it's like both of these things are your wishes fulfillment. You have the nine of cups here, which is your wish, you know, your dreams and your desires. This is like what you're wishing for. Then you have the major arcana of that, which is the star. So what I'm getting is like this is a very difficult thing. It's like one with immediate satisfaction. It is what you've been waiting for. But this one is like the ultimate one. You know, so you're caught between a rock and a hard place right now because you're like, I didn't know I was going to end up having to make two of the most difficult decisions in the world. <clears throat> Both is going to bring you happiness, Capricorn. So you guys definitely are going to have your answers answered, but this is going to be a test of fate. Which one are you going to choose? I do see offers coming up for you. For some of you guys, this is like 
your dream job and then the you know the job that you applied for which is maybe you know at a shorter distance that pays very handsomely the one that just you know very relaxing easy going it's not too much pressure no micromanaging there is definitely ways for improvement ways to rise up but then you also get this golden opportunity for another job but that's maybe a little bit you know at a distance maybe with more miles or more traveling to do but there's more room for growth there so you're kind of having to juggle between okay there's like a little bit of a gamble here for a few of you guys this is a gamble maybe in different areas of your life but I'm definitely seeing cappies you guys are going to have options definitely you are um, you know this is definitely well deserved and well earned and right now it's like spirit just wants to let you guys know you have two doors here one you have to open one you have to really consult what your soul wants though so there is no right or wrong answer for you they're both right however which one are you going to feel more satisfied in for the long haul not just your immediate satisfaction because I do see here you have maybe made tough calls and tough decisions before which may have backfired on you and you don't want to do that again so this is why now you're taking your time to choose and you really should you know, with the two of swords here, you're like, but I don't really want to. We just kind of want to mind my own business. How did I even get myself caught up in the situation in the first place? You know, the timing of events are just so chaotic. I mean, I mean, like, what are the chances of these two great things being offered to me now? You know, what are the chances of that? Who would have thought? This is the kind of feeling that I'm getting from my Cappies. But this is, you know, the universe blessing you in a very weird way. For some of you, this could be, you know, getting a text or a call back from an ex who you haven't heard from a long time. For those of you who are still, you know, on a rough patch, maybe still trying to work things out with an ex, and then there's somebody new in your life that you're just so mesmerized by. You know, there's this, like, change of fate here. It's like, oh, my God, you know, like, I, you know, I didn't, you know, it's like, okay, well, we'll just see how things go. I'm not in that hurry to make a quick decision right now. I am finding myself a little bit at a cross road maybe a little bit at a stalemate not really wishing to make a quick and um just a very quick and impulsive decision and this is actually your advice is not to make an impulsive decision right now because you may you may pay for it you know you may actually regret it later on so it's really to go within and see what it is you truly want <clears throat> I do see you guys are not going to make the wrong choice with the Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor, Cappies. You have the change of fate here. So I'm saying you may have gone through, like I said, trials and tribulations, a lot of hard times. Maybe your offer's been shot down many times and now you're kind of scared to go back out there because of the, maybe even for a few guys, you have to make that approach. Maybe you have to make that first reach out, but you just don't even know the rewardings are going to be very pleasing the rewardings are going to be a blessing you just have to really step out there and even though it, it's a little bit scary because you may have been turned down before or maybe however way um that applies to you i do see i'm feeling a little bit of fear here you know because you of like the things that could have happened things that could happen what if it all fails right but I'm seeing this is actually going to work on your favor because I see you guys definitely getting the thing you want. With the Queen of Pentacles here, this is could be you guys holding that coin. And really looking at it, she's manifested this thing, you know. Whatever this coin to you is, it could be a person, it could be love, it could be a family, it could be a home, it could be a car. It's your dreams in reality. It's really nearing approach and this is going to give you guys emotional satisfaction. But it comes with strength. Strength is not literally a physical strength, and especially in tarot. This is needing emotional strength to overcome something very difficult. This is, you know, going through something what nobody normally would want to do. For some of us, this could be a little bit more in depth, taking a deeper look within ourselves, you know, really being honest with ourselves and asking ourselves what we truly want and what really makes us happy. Yeah, strength with the sun, which truly makes you happy, what you truly want. <clears throat> Not just what comes easy, not just what's ahead. 
Because something for you, you guys have the Two of Pentacles and the Star again. Okay, so I'm really definitely getting that you guys are going to have your, your just, you know, what you've been wishing for, what you've been praying for, your blessings are here. This is like wish granted by the universe. This is very awesome. And then, oh my goodness, the Nine of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Again, I'm telling you, you have the Nine of Cups with the Nine of Cups. This is blessings on blessings on blessings. It's like, how could, and then you have the star here also twice. Okay, this is definitely a confirmation that your answers, I mean, your prayers are being answered but you're very worried about it. So don't put these negative thoughts and fears and apprehensions into reality. Don't, you know, just let go of your worries. Just know that it's coming in. Maybe you're telling yourself it's too good to be true. That is not possible, but you know, what you think you put out to the universe. So just make sure that everything you're thinking is staying really positive right now because I'm seeing wish on wish and dreams coming reality. But you are here with the Seven of Swords with the Hangman, needing to see things from a different perspective. Maybe for a few of you guys, you know, as we have all, um, you know, in life in general, there's a funny way that life just tends to beat down on us and we can't help it but go towards a very negative approach or go walk down a very negative aspect and you know not negativity isn't always so bad because it, it gives you precaution it raises your awareness you don't make the same mistakes twice so there's also a very helpful beneficial way at using negativity over always being blindly optimistic but here i'm saying this is not being blindly optimistic this is manifesting what you want and being sure not to let your your ideas and fears get in the way because you have something coming to you you have very conflicting thoughts maybe about a partnership or a reunion right now or maybe about a third person scenario but there is something working out. It just does. It does um, take time, and I do see with the four of swords reverse. This is like you know <clears throat> needing to really communicate your feelings with somebody because they won't know how you're truly feeling if you're keeping yourself closeted up, held back, or you know refusing to admit the truth. There is a little bit of fear hiding behind your own worries and not really wanting to. Um, you know, put your own burdens or your stressors on somebody else. And as an earth sign myself, I totally get that. But there's definitely help around you, okay? They're not going to see this as a burden, which you think they're going to see it as. They're actually going to be very happy you reached out to them because I'm getting also this feeling they haven't heard from you in a very long time. They're also wondering how you truly feel about this because they don't know. We have five of swords, four of swords, nine of swords twice. Okay, this is like really telling me both are very conflicted about how the other person truly feels. Maybe both people are putting up a front and both need to be honest with themselves <clears throat> and with each other. Yeah, I'm definitely getting help is needed, help is there, and you know, if you were to reach out right now for assistance, for any kind of help, whether this is, you know, like, help in any kind of way, you know, sometimes strength doesn't just, um, you know, sometimes power of strength is also being able to accept help rather than just to offer help, you know, there's a kind of lesson, there's a certain kind of lesson that comes with being able to accept help too. And I feel like for a few of you guys don't really want to, um, you know, receive help right now. There's a lot, there's a point where you've come uh, to going about it for going about it alone for so long that, you know, this has just become the norm for you. But see, life has a funny way of presenting with the right people, the perfect people to align you with, which can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. And here comes help to you, arriving in all the areas in your life where you need it to boost. The trick is to accept that aid when it's so freely given. When you embrace this level of interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. And as we see, we have miracles happening right here. Now is such a time. This is a time where even maybe if you're having, you know, hard and difficult times with somebody in a relationship, you guys are thriving on interdependence. You guys are both very stubborn, possibly very 
Um, you guys are both very independent people, very proud. Um, you know, you guys both like to not maybe ask um, for help, but it's important to re recognize that you guys need each other as much as they need you. There's just this time that both needing to allow the other person to support just as the other one's there for them. It's a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs and to ask for them to be fulfilled. You can trust this people that's around you right now. I feel like you guys are very protected right now, Cappies. Especially if you guys are finding yourself with a Leo, a Capricorn, another Capricorn like yourself, a Taurus, a Virgo. They're Aquarius, they're coming very strong in this reading, but you don't necessarily have to be one of these signs. They also have Cancer or Pisces, but don't expect others to read your mind. You will be met with kindness and love. Just ask and it will be given. There's this level of you needing to choose and needing to speak out right now, and you will be fulfilled and blessed, okay? This is kind of what I have. We have Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor, the optimal new beginnings. And we have a leg up. See? This is like, I <clears throat> don't know if you guys can see this, but this is like, you know, this little small polar bear is jumping on this big one, needing help to climb up. And see, this one is like really smiling, like, okay, I'm definitely going to be here for help. Something's a little bit out of balance here. You may be someone's lying and saying they can do it on their own, but it's not going to happen. This is almost a test of fate. This is actually going to happen with two people coming together to work out. This is actually kind of what it was universally guided for this to happen. You come across this person or this person is coming in your life for a specific reason. Um, if you were to do it alone, the expectations and the problems and the solutions would not end up in the same way as, you know, spirit guides want you to have it. They're looking out for you for your best interest, and this is what I'm seeing right now. Cappies, I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.